just under a week ago in this very seat sat Toronto Argonauts quarterback McLeod Bethel Thompson. He was here promoting the East Conference final against the Thai Cats, which took place on Sunday. But it technically broke CFL protocol, so he had to go into quarantine and wasn't eligible to play in Sunday's game. But after a bunch of tests and controversy, he was then active and was able to play. But now what happened after the game from Sunday's loss to the Thai Cats has him in a bit of hot water. He pushed a cameraman on the field and today had to issue an apology. Worst case scenario, you're... It was unacceptable. I should have never forced him out of the way and I should have never touched his camera, which I know is his job and his livelihood. So. I want to apologize to him. <laughs> this isn't the only moment that happened after the game that's being talked about. Toronto police are investigating an incident away from the field. In a statement, TPS said at the end of the game, two men allegedly jumped a barricade and were attempting to fight with players. Officers and security quickly intervened, and both men are alleged to have been assaulted with staff and police. As a result, both were trespassed from BMO Field and Exhibition Place. The Argos say they will issue a statement when the investigation is completed, but fan favorite and Argos GM Michael Pinball Clemens says he's not laying blame on anyone, but was surprised by the alleged altercation. I love our, our game. I love our fans. And, uh, um, and this kind of incident is surprising, I think, to anyone. And at the passion uh, that's involved and the energy that was in the stadium, many times these things happen out of passion. They're, they're not out of intention or hurt. The Thai Cats are now on their way to the Grey Cup in Hamilton this Sunday to take on the Winnipeg Blue Bombers, while the Argos are left trying to figure out what went wrong. You know, you're frustrated. You know, we're, we're, and we're clearly the better team yesterday. Day. We we played a good first half, um, but they found a way to win, and that's what great teams do. So we're not at that level yet. From the field to the basketball court, the Raptors 905 played an early game with tip off at 11 a.m., beating the Capital Go Go at the Scotiabank Arena, taking the W 120 to 113. And Canadian tennis star Bianca Andreescu announced that she won't be playing at the Australian Open, stating that she wants extra time to recover physically and mentally, noting that quarantine and isolation has played a factor in her decision. For City News, I'm Lindsay Dunn.